We're back on a Saturday morning with a story that was practically perfect for our favorite meteorologist. Practically. Dylan, you spent some time this week with a dance group that rehearses outside no matter what the weather. Tell us about it. Yeah, they are incredible. So, I, I mean, you guys know I love all things weather. And when I heard about this story, I just had to go out and meet the women who were not shying away from any season, especially the harsh reality of winter. Mother Nature can be so peaceful and idyllic. It's no surprise that dancers across the country have chosen to move outside during COVID to be one with nature. And that's still true here in the Northeast, where even winter won't stop these hardy dancers. Ballet outdoors in the snow and ice doesn't seem ideal. Why do you do it? Everything is so uncertain right now in the pandemic that it's nice to be certain that you're going to meet and dance with your group every week. So it's something that we can all rely on. Phoebe Berglund and her dance troupe are no strangers to performing outside. When gyms and dance studios shut down, they moved rehearsals to alongside the East River in Brooklyn. Brush through, brush through, close first. Their class giving new meaning to playing in the snow. Really, you know, kick the snow if you want. For these professionals, the benefits of dancing together outweigh any downside to doing it outside. I think it keeps us all connected and hopeful and happy and it gives us something to look forward to and have fun doing, which is so rare right now. Do you ever look at the forecast and think, oh, I don't want to do this today? <laughs> when you see it go from 40 to 30 to 20, every loss of 10 degrees, it's like, okay, how am I going to add another layer <laughs> and still be able to move? On this day, the shovel and improvised bar were only the warm-up. Talk about making it work. The snow and ice was fine for some things, but now you guys need to practice on stable ground, and this is the only way to get there. Yeah, we joke that this is our backstage, and then we're walking to our stage right now. <laughs> the new beachfront setting does have its advantages. The wind really carries us when we do turns. And so we try to go with the weather and not against the weather. In the summer, I think we were moving a little bit slower because it was so hot. And I think that in the winter, it's so cold that we can't have a lot of stillness in our choreography. We have to move more. As a meteorologist, I love that <laughs> weather perhaps could be making, making its own appearance in your routine. <laughs> the dance troupe taking every opportunity to prepare for the next performance, whenever that may be. These aren't ideal conditions to perform your craft. Why do you make it work? I think in some way it does feel ideal right now. Since this was always here. We wouldn't have always thought to come here, but I'm so glad that we did because, I mean, what a view. <laughs> so a couple things. You might be wondering why I didn't put myself out there and dance. This was a professional <laughs> dance troupe. This wasn't just a <laughs> hobby, but I will say... I haven't seen a live performance of any kind in, yeah. I mean, in so long. So just mm. to sit and listen to the music, to watch them dance, to watch them rehearse for an unknown performance, I mean, it really, really was very special. Those guys are so impressive. When I'm in my puffy coat, I can barely get my arms down by my side, right? And they're like doing the whole deal. I love how she talked about how many different layers they need as they watch the temperature drop. Dylan, what a great piece. Thank you so much. Thank really you. They're, well they're special for sure. They sure are. Great moves. All right. Well, we are back right after this. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.